in this video let's set up our project so we want to create a new react app and install all the dependencies that we'll need so i'm going to open a new terminal by clicking terminal new terminal and here we are going to start installing our new react project by typing npx then create react app and the name of our app can be let's say food app and hit enter and it will start generating a new react project for you so let's wait for the installation to finish so now our project have been installed so if i open up my sidebar as you can see we have this food app folder and inside that we have a basic react project so let's cd into that project so we're going to say cd into food app like so and after that we also want routing in our project so we're going to say npm install i for install and we want to install react router dom so react dash router dash dom and hit enter and again wait for the installation to finish and the react router has also been installed now we also want to use sas in our project so we're going to say again npm install and we want to install sas hit enter and wait for the installation to finish and now sas has also been installed and finally we want font awesome for our icons so let's go to font awesome so you, we are going to go to font awesome's react page and here you'll see the getting started installation guide so we have to install the font awesome svg core the solid icons and the react font awesome so let me just copy this Control c and we can paste it like so and wait for the installation to finish Okay, so we have installed the font awesome SVG core. We have installed the free solid SVG icons and react font awesome. But we also need the brand icon. So let me just copy this one more time. So control C. Paste it here. And instead of solid SVG icons, we want brand SVG icons. So we are simply going to replace it with free brands SVG icons. Hit enter. And this will install the brand icons so the brand icons are the facebook twitter instagram those type of icons the big brand icons so let's wait for the installation to finish and the installation is finished so this should be all of our dependency for this project so let's start our server by typing npm start and here is our newly created react app so let's simplify it so in the source folder we have a lot of files so let's delete all the files that we don't need okay so i have deleted all the files except for app.js index.css and index.js actually i am also going to delete the index.css so delete since we are going to be using sas so now we only have two files index.js and app.js so now in the index.js we don't need the report web vital we have deleted it we don't need the index.css we don't need these lines as well save and then we can go to our app.js and here we can also just return a simple paragraph so let's say hello world and we don't need the logo.svg or app.css save so this is how this looks like we simply have a hello world text and let's see if sas works perfectly or not so in the source folder i'm going to create a new folder called styles and in the styles folder we, we are going to have a new sas file called let's say index.sas so we are going to use index.scss like so so now we have the styles folder inside that we have index.scss so inside that let's target everything and let's say margin 0 so margin equals to 0 and we can also say padding padding will also be 0 and we are also going to say box sizing so box dash sizing to border box like so and now in our index.js let's try to import the sas file so we're going to say import and we're going to import dot forward slash styles and then index.scss so index.scss like so save and click on refresh so as you can see now the white space is gone so our sas is also working so this should be all for our setup and in the next video we are going to create the navbar so make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss the video and you can like this video if you want that way youtube will suggest this video to more audience and that will help me a lot and i'll see you next time